welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we're going to be drawing a landscape and we are going to be using oil pastels. So we're using these Craypass Expressionist oil pastels. These are made by Sakura. This is a set of 50. I spent some time this weekend near Zion National Park and I was able to teach a small group of children some oil pastel techniques as we drew the landscape that we were looking at. I'll show you some examples of their work at the end of this tutorial. You need some paper and I'm just using this light yellow construction paper. You need oil pastels and again I'm using the Craypass Expressionist oil pastels and I always like to have a paper towel so that I can clean off my oil pastels. I'm gonna be taping my paper down just so it doesn't move around. Follow along with me. I'm gonna make this very, very simple. This is a beginning oil pastel tutorial. But let's go ahead and let's use red for the landscape right now. Draw a line close to the bottom. There's gonna be some grass down in here and then another line right above it. We are drawing a stripe on the bottom of our paper. And then up above it, we're gonna start right here and we're gonna jet over and come down. When we get to about here, we're gonna draw some lines coming up here and then up and up. We could continue this line probably in here, but there's gonna be a tree in front of that. So okay, you're just making some steps. Some are steep, some are not so steep. And then underneath that, let's go ahead and draw some curves. A small little circle here, a big bump, a smaller bump, another bump this way. And then we're gonna put some bumps down in here. And this is gonna be filled with yellow. And let's draw another stripe above this. Okay, so we have three lines at the bottom of our paper, the bumps, and then our steps. There's going to be some trees that come up here. Let's grab the colors for our sky. When you go outside and you look at the sky, it usually gets a little bit lighter as it gets closer or as it appears to get closer to the earth. So we're gonna start a little darker and then get lighter as we go to the bottom. Grab a kind of a dark blue, a medium blue, and then we're gonna use white. So grab your dark blue and just make a dark blue stripe across the top of your paper. And once you get that in, grab your lighter blue and make a stripe underneath it. And I'm leaving a strip of paper above it so that I can move into that blue this way. And then as we come down, we're gonna start not pushing as hard until we're just barely, barely, barely pushing it and we get close to those mountains. So we're not pressing hard down here, we're pressing really hard up here and then slowly, slowly, slowly lightening up down towards the bottom. Then grab your white, start at the bottom and just move up. And that's a really easy way to create the feeling of that sky lightening up. And I kind of like how my red's mixing in with this. It looks like a sunset. So remember, oil pastels will blend, smudge, and smear. Let's go ahead and get our red for these mountains in. If you want to be particular, this is vermilion. And I'm just going to fill this whole thing in. Once you get those drawn in, grab a yellow. And we're going to fill in this whole shape with our yellow. These are going to be trees, so I like to just use swirls when I'm putting these in. And then this is going to be just a light green. This color is olive. And at the top, you can make some lines going up into the yellow. Now we need a light blue and fill this in. Grab your white and go ahead and draw over the top. And now grab that same green. Once you color in those shapes, we are ready to start putting in some details. So we're gonna start with the back first. So we're gonna put some details in these mountains. For the mountains, I'm just gonna grab this darker red, dark rose, and I'm just gonna put a few cracks in these mountains, just a few details. I'm just putting some lines in here with this darker red. Grab an orange, and we can just put a few orange areas up in there. I'm gonna grab my blue, put a few details in these mountains. There's a lot of little canyons in there and cracks. We don't want to get too detailed with these mountains because they are in the distance. So we're just putting some lines down and lines across. These actually get a little darker in here. So I'm just going to put some of this blue in here. Now let's work on these trees. We already have the yellow on there. So let's put some greens in these trees. And I'm going to grab the green that we used down here and I'm just going to start layering it in these trees. So the green kind of comes below. There's also a few pine trees in here, so let's grab a darker green. There's one right in here. Let's put just a little bit more green kind of in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be drawing some trees that are coming in front of all of this. So there's actually a tree that's gonna start here and come up into that area. So grab a dark brown, make sure it's clean. And if you think of trees as just being a bunch of Y's, okay? So we start with a Y. And then we're gonna bring another Y up the top and another Y off the side and another Y off that one and maybe another Y over there. 
another way over in here. And I'm gonna make this trunk just a little bit bigger at the bottom. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the brown along the bottom as a shadow. And then we're gonna use the same color and we're just gonna make some tree trunks back here in the forest. You can add some Ys in there if you want. And grab your yellow and put some more details in this grassy area down in here. Grab your, also your green and this is overlapping this little river. Then just grab your brown and I'm gonna put some brown in the bottom of this tree. Use your yellow to adjust the shape of these trees. If you don't want them to be so round, you, know, you can just push them out into the, that background. So let's go ahead and grab our brown and let's put some of these big trees in that are over here. So there's two of them, these old cottonwood trees. And one of them doesn't have very many branches on it. So this one comes up through everything up into the sky. And then we get the Y right about here and it bends over this way. Okay, and then we're just going to put a few branches. So that's a Y, another Y, and another Y right over the top of this. And I'm going to make this trunk just a little bit thicker. And again, just putting the kind of shadow along the bottom. Just kind of bring in some lines out. And then let's put another one right here. So there's the Y in that one and it's kind of going off of the paper. Now these trees do have some leaves on them but not very many. So we're gonna grab our brightest yellow. So you're just pressing with your yellow and I'm pressing pretty hard just to make dots for these leaves. And then we're gonna grab our green. And then I'm just gonna grab the darker green that we used for the pine tree. And then I'm just gonna add a few more leaves up here. Grab the blue that we kind of outlined some of these mountains with up here. And we're just gonna put a few more details down in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that blue on the side of my tree. And anywhere, like I realized I forgot some shading down in here. If you want a little bit more definition, you can grab the blue and just define where these trees are. And I'm just twisting it in my fingers and making some of these shapes and maybe defining a few of these trees. Any edges you want redefined, you can use that blue. You might see some of the reflection of those mountains in this water. So you can grab your red and just add a few of those reflections. And there definitely would be some yellow reflections in there too. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and sign it and have a wonderful day. I will see you around on YouTube. Hopefully you'll get to see this landscape in person sometime. Mm -hmm.